let's create a database that will store our users details and passwords so that we can use that database later for login let's call the database flask users in the database let's create a new table called table underscore users let's just add two columns for let's just add four columns yeah, that's no matter let's call it username email and let's call it join date and password the type of username is Paracat, that means it will store anything, characters, numbers, or uh, any characters. Let's fix the length for 20. Let email also be Paracat and let the length be 50 for email. Join date is date and password is also Paracat. Let's let the length of maximum password be 20. Okay, so we need default values. The default values for username will be none and email will be, uh, let's say if the user registers without email, null. Joined it can also have default value as null and let password does not have a default value. So the user will have to enter username or password at least. And the user cannot cannot or user may not enter email and join it and he will still be able to register. He or she will still be able to register. Also, one more thing is we don't have an ID here. ID is very important to recognize a row. Let's say you can have if you have multiple users with the same username and they will have to be identified by ID. So let's add one more column let's call it id it will be integer so the primary purpose of adding an id is so that it can identify each row uniquely so if there are 100 user every user will have a unique id all right and click here auto increment that means that if we will not have to insert id it will be automatically increased for each new record added and as you can see here it is automatically set to primary key if we set a row to have auto increment okay now let's save it and we have our database ready. As you can see, we have five columns, ID, that is primary key, and it is also auto increment. And we have username, that have, can have maximum length of 20. We have email, that can have maximum length of 50, and we have join it and password. And email and join it have default value of null, so if you do not insert anything in email or join it, they will be set to null. And we don't have to insert anything in ID, it will be automatically set as it is auto increment and we will have to insert username and password. 